guys, what's up? Welcome back to JK Fishing. Today we're out on Lake Ontario. Stay tuned for the fishing. We're looking to see if we can have some salmon, rainbow trout, lake trout, just anything that's biting. So anyways, we'll see you on the water. the cheater. It's actually the Freedom Tackle Herring Cut Bait. Tried it out, the glow one. Hearing guys like using it in the morning. And it's been hit twice, the only rod today. It's been extremely, extremely slow so far. But it looks like a salmon. Small salmon. Small salmon. Yeah. Watch where we're going. Make sure yeah. we're going straight. John, if you want to grab I might have to land him, go around uh, the cleaner here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dice, give it a sec. Don't reel yet, just kind of hold him there so there's tension. Keep pulling line. Oh no, you're reeling. Nice. Little, little shaker. It's a fish. Maybe a co. Is it a coho? Johnny, look at the net. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have time to get the net. Is that a steelhead? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a beautiful steelhead. And I got a hook in me. Look at that. It was it was on the greasy. Wow. That's why it popped. Get on the bottom there. We got a Laker. Okay, wait, 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 look at that number. You had kind of six, 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 six. Yeah, I'm trying to steer. Well, that's uh, first fish of the day. Hopefully more. But uh, nice eater steelhead. They're just coming out of the river right now because uh, they're basically done spawning, and these bad boys taste unreal. So, yeah. So you know, the video was not recording while well, you brought that in. Really? The video was on, but it was not recording. So show us what you got here, Joe. This is my beard. Cool. It is. Look, no spots on the tail. I've never caught a coho. Is this a coho? Or is it just a little cake? I don't know. He's actually getting on these bad guys. Yeah, it's not a reef. Yeah, it's not a coho. I thought it was. It is a coho, I think. Here's the fish identification. So look at the, uh, the mouth here. Now I'm not too good at identifying fish. I usually leave that up to Johnny. I just catch them. I don't care. But uh... So we missed the whole video for that one, Joe. Because uh, your cameraman was incompetent. He was trying to steer the boat at the same time. Yeah, eh? Yeah, the gums look white on that. That's a coho. Here we go, our first coho. So white gums, normally they're black. It's a king. And no spots on the tail, right Johnny? Yeah. So that's a nice coho. These things taste unreal. That's uh, a little guy, look how messed up the scales are, but holding them really awkwardly. But beautiful, beautiful fish, gone up high. Get it right back out there, see if we can get a couple more maybe. And I'll call Feed the there. family. Yes sir, gotta get me right, boat just packing up right now. Bringing in the riggers, we just got one rod out that I need to bring in. Unfortunately, it was a really slow day today, but it turned out to a beautiful afternoon. It's flat calm compared to the morning. It was night day. But we're gonna head back now and we're gonna show you guys how we clean filet, whatever you wanna call it, and cook these fish because rainbow trout and coho salmon are two of the, I'd say the two best eating fish you can get out of Lake Ontario. So we're excited to try it, show you guys the recipe, so we'll see you in the kitchen. And um, I get these guys ready to cook. This is the coho, other one's the rainbow. 
frozen on ice. We did a really good job icing them. We had some big chunks of ice. We just put some lake water in there so they stayed really cold. And uh, what I'm gonna do before is he's kill him. So we're not flying him. We're gonna eat him whole. Yeah. Look at the scales just come off. I mean, scales just come off. And I'm getting all of my leg. A fish is descaled, it is gutted, and we're ready to start preparing it. But before that, one thing that I did not do yesterday is uh, cut out these pectoral things on both of them. All this is just bone there, you're not really losing any meat. I cut out all the pectoral fins because you why do you want to cook bone? Why do you want to potentially eat bone? Dorsal fins are removed and before we start seasoning it, I'm just gonna cut a couple score marks in the side of the fish because these are thicker fish and you um want them to be cooked all the way through and have some flavor on the inside. So I'm just gonna put on the other side of them. You don't want to go too deep with the scores. I'm trying to stay as close as I can to the surface. To keep all the meat in one place. And I'm going to do that on the other side of this fish and on both sides of that fish. And we'll start seasoning it soon. We have the olive oil here. And we're going to put some more on the uh, tempura on the barbecue. But we're just going to drizzle a little bit on the other side. The fish. Rub it all over. And then you're going to slice this lemon open and get some lemon juice on it. There we go. That's good. And then Finally, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Some inside too. I always make sure with the pepper and then we'll flip it over and get it the other side. Anyways, guys, once we uh, finish seasoning this other side with the salt and pepper, we will be ready for the grill. So we'll see you there. As you can see, we have, we're cooking some other food right now, but we have put the tin foil down with some olive oil. This grill is pretty hot and that's why the olive oil is burning. So we think it's time to put the fish down. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay them side by side. You hear crackling in the oil. And there we go. Now we're gonna close it up and we're gonna let it cook. Low heat? Yep, we're turning down the heat so it cooks a little slower and it's not burning and cooking as fast. That way we get it to cook all the way through and we get the nice barbecue flavor without it getting burnt on the edges before it's cooked all the way in the middle. Cause these are a little bit thicker fish than some of like the little small salmon. So we wanted to make sure that it cooks all the way through without getting too dry on the outside. And not being around the middle at the same time. We removed everything else off the grill. It's just the fish. The heat is low right now. And one other thing we did, we turned on the infrared burner at the back so the tops also cook well. One thing that we like to do too is leave the head in because if you're ever wondering if the fish is cooked or not, a way to tell is the eyes. When the eyes turn completely white, that's how you know that it is more or less cooked. Not always completely accurate, but that is something that we used to help out. But we're gonna just gonna close this up again and we're gonna let it cook all the way through on low heat and it'll get that nice barbecue smoky flavor. Fish is done and we're gonna put it on the tray. Get the tongs, I believe. You can do the you can do the honor. Just hold the tray for you. We've, uh, after it's been done cooking, we just turn off all the burners. You just want to pull the whole thing. Right here. Yeah. Right after it was uh, finished cooking, we turn off all the burners and just let it close for 
couple minutes so it stayed warm. And there we go. It's a meal fit for a king. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There's no king salmon on Or a coho. Yeah. yeah. Or a meal, a meal fit for a coho. And a tri and a steel. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But uh yeah, we're gonna try these and we'll see you then. As I mentioned before with the eyes turning white, if you take a close look, Joe, eyes have turned white and the eyeball has kind of popped out a little bit. So that is how you know that they are finished. And I'm just gonna dig right in. One thing to know though, it is helpful if you know the anatomy of a fish, where the bones are, if you go to eat them whole. That way you can kind of pick around where you know the bones are so you're not pulling out handfuls of bones and possibly choking on them. So that's just one helpful thing to know. You get a chunk of the tail here. Some skin too. This is a coho. This is a rainbow. But very simple flavor. Um, you taste the uh, flavor from the barbecue, and uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good for a salmon. Johnny. Yeah. Can I get a little some of the action? Yes. Just don't get any bones. Okay, so can I take a little bit like off here? Yeah, you're gonna get all bones in that because that's a red cage. Sorry. All right. Mm. Get some rainbow too. What do you think, Jack? Mm, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's not as sweet as like a maple flavor. It doesn't have as much flavor necessarily, but it's very simple, and it honestly does not taste very fishy. But let's see how the rainbow matches up with the coal. Honestly, they taste the same. If you take a first glance and you're not an angler, you would think of them as the same fish, but very little differences in between them. Maybe the rainbow has a little bit more of a fishier flavor, but both very delicious, very good tasting. Anyways, guys, that's all for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.